Hey heroes, it's Hope Pennington, and yes, I'm in my pajamas, my lovely artsy pajamas, but I decided to give you guys a room tour because, actually a uh, study tour, <laughs> because I um, have been wanting to do it for a long time, and now I had a, a bit of time, so let's do it. First you gotta open the door here, and in we go. The first thing you've got walking in is some <laughs> edits on a, bu a book read through that my sister Patience did for me. The first book I ever wrote called The Adventures of Sir Pierce Across the Plains and there's all of the beautiful highlights and and markings that she did in it. And as you can see stepping into the rest of the room I've got this set up here. Yeah that's um Spider-Man riding a rhinoceros because this is Patience's and my study and yeah, her favorite superhero was Spider-Man, and her favorite animal, her spirit animal, is a rhinoceros. I mean, come on guys, what's not inspiring about Spider-Man riding a rhinoceros? Next to him, we've got all my plans with my comic book deadlines, my social media deadlines, my film deadlines, as you can see that was for November 2nd for Hidden, my writing deadlines, my family project deadlines, and my reading deadlines. And here on this um, calendar is where I check off all the days, make sure I did everything I was supposed to. Here we have little, um, my clipboard where I pin encouraging notes from my friends and anything anybody sends me to encourage me. My friend Haley Westbrook has sent me most of the things on that pegboard currently, but I'm open to more. If you guys have any encouraging notes for me, it's always great to look up and just see a pegboard clipboard full of inspiration. Panning over from that, we've got a game cabinet and then my bookshelf full of lots of fun books. Uh, How to Draw 3D, Lord of the Rings, um, a book about Dickens, Resistance. That's a really cool book. Um, all the books that I, that's the, the books that I'm supposed to be reading next, and those are all my drawing um, and writing inspirational books. Panning over here, you can see the freezer where I've put up some of my Star Trek art. Um, that's Bones, Kirk, and Spock, respectively. And uh, yeah, we like to put our art on the fridge, Patience's um, photography and paintings that we've done. Um, there's some hand lettering she did, and... Uh, some pictures that that my little brother did, some painting that my little brother did under that just to inspire us to be creative. We got some of my art on there, my manga art. Panning over here, we have um, some cute little things, including just a shelf full of books that we love. Ah, yes, The Amazing Book is Not on Fire. Actually, a birthday gift to my sister that I then stole and have been reading anytime I need a laugh ever since. Mama Needs a Do Over, my mom's book that I did not steal, but I've also been reading whenever I need encouragement and a laugh. And down there is my desk that I've given you guys a tour of before, just my random things. And just a bunch of her essential oils and music, and of course, awesome headphones and art. Um, over there, we have just our mirror and the door into our bedroom. Which... So I don't know if Braden's going to publish his novel or not, but that was fan art that I did from it, and I really hope he does because it was cool. Um, there's some stuff my great my there is a piece of fan art that I did crossover between my sister Grace's novels series Firmament and um, obviously Doctor Who, and that inspires me because um, I love Doctor Who and I love her work, and she's done a magnificent job. And that's fan art that Grace actually bought for me of Loki who pretty much everyone knows is my best favorite character ever. That's some beautiful manga art done by a friend of mine and some more Loki art and some a um, beautiful sunset done by a friend of mine and Daniel Jackson because I love him. And here <laughs> is apparently a little drawer full of jewelry but other than that some manga comics that I'm reading and The Hobbit and some adorable nerd uh, merchandise that a friend sent me. So, yeah, I'm, I supposedly, theoretically, would sit here and read um, graphic novels if I actually had time for that kind of thing. Wait, but I should. I'm going to make the time, and that's going to be my reading spot. I've only read a little bit so far. Um, tell me what your favorite graphic novel is, because I've read several, and they're pretty good, and I'm still getting into it, and I haven't read, especially when I read manga, but really any kind of graphic novel that you would recommend for me to read, um, and where I can get it, because... I, I'm just a baby when it comes to manga and anime. I've only watched the basics, and I've only read the basics, so. Above our fridge, you've got a typewriter, an American flag, and some more um, photography equipment. 
If I could do whatever I wanted with my life, I'd be sitting in a field with that typewriter right now, just all day typing away, typing away nonsense poems, all sorts of things. Just sitting out like a hipster all day. Because my sister is a photographer. Don't you love my decorating skills? So amazing. This is my chair. It's too high for the desk. Here's my sister's chair. It's crazy comfy. And it's not too tall for the desk. Adaptable arms. Spinny. Smooth as butter. Adjustable. Jet propulsion. One of these chairs is not like the other. I'm just kidding, patients. I love my chair. Oh, I might need to start a campaign for awareness of underprivileged chair sitters. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tour of a nerdy artist's room. And uh, uh, please subscribe if you want to see more nerdy artisty stuff by me. And uh, comment and tell me what your favorite corner of the room was. Or your least favorite corner of the room if you want to be neg negative, fine. Thank you so much for watching and have an epic day. Have an epic day, everyone!